Welcome back to Hemadroids.net. Um, today I'm going to take a look at a little app called Widget Locker Lock Screen. It's available on the marketplace for uh, for one dollar ninety nine, and it's basically it's a lock screen replacement, uh, but it's lock screen with with extras. Now I've been having a bit of a play with it myself. Uh, one of the things I like we'll be able to see straight away is that I can actually press a button to go into my lock screen. I'm not sure if that was possible before or not. I don't think it is, not on my Galaxy S anyway. So I'm going to hit the button, and there I am, straight on my lock screen. Um, I've, like I said, I've been fiddling and I've customised this to a little bit the way that I like already. Um, if I just give you a bit of a walkthrough of what I've, what I've done, um, I've got Beyond Pod, my uh, um, podcast player on there and I've got a double twist widget as well these are fully functioning widgets and I, I did a video of a guy dancing at this now the only thing I noticed is a press play that, uh, oh, there this electronic says, DJ thing yesterday so that's uh, that's my, my podcast player in here the music player but it is, it's, it's still a lock screen. Now, the, I have to admit, the first time I heard about this, that you can put widgets on your lock screen, I thought, well, doesn't that defeat the purpose of the lock screen? You know, the whole idea is, even if your, wake phone, your, your phone wakes up by mistake, it's locked and you're not gonna, you know, you don't do any damage, you're not pressing buttons when, when you don't think so. But I guess the idea here is, obviously, you put on just widgets that you want, um, and uh, you, you don't put on other things that, you know, that would be triggered uh, by mistake. It's very simple to do as well. Now I'm in, yeah, I'm in edit mode, so I'll just do it like I would on uh, on the home screen. I can add shortcuts or widgets. So I'll put double twist back on there, just so you can see how simple it is. There it is. It's as easy as that. Um, one of the things I like that's the default. Um, you can see here I've got a little slider like you got an Android. You can see that it says camera. If I slide that. It opens to the actual camera. Which I think it's quite clever. Come back, I'm still on the lock screen. Slide on the other side, I don't know if you can see too well, that adjusts the uh, the brightness. See that getting darker. Put it back on automatic. Now along the bottom at the moment I've got the uh, the iPhone style lock. Let's go back and then I'll show you some of the settings. So obviously first of all is widget locker enabled. Yes, it is. You must remember if you've got any kind of app killer, any you know task manager, you need to uh, uh, you need to exclude this because it it runs like any other app would. Um, I want to show you first of all what I saw when I installed it is um, is a little sort of tutorial explaining all about it. I think this is great. I wish more apps did this. Um, it just explains what the app's about. It gives you uh, tells you what lock mode and tool mode is we keep going it tells us a little about home helper it tells us about the five second rule look and why it needs to be set as a um as a home i don't know what you would call it a home helper so that it can get access straight away i've already done that but i'm going to say no because i already do that um and then it's got some frequently asked questions can i use htc widgets which i wouldn't expect it to have been able to that's their quite specific htc widgets can I use a lot Pattern, yes, you can. Can I wake the phone with the trackball trackpad? Yes, you can. How does it for my battery life? He goes on to explain how he's doing everything he can to uh, make sure it doesn't adversely affect your battery life. Uh, you know, it's it's you know a nice a nice introduction basically. Um, let's have a look at some of the options. So you got things like back button unlocks, camera button unlocks, trackball. So I've taken that to me. So I've, let's let's try that. I've not actually tested that yet. Sorry. So. Yeah, so my uh, my home button does, which I quite like as well. Is sometimes uh, I don't know, you, you, maybe it's just a hassle that you take your thumb off again. It's nice to be able to just uh, press the the home button again. And our menu button that's ticked in the middle. I could take that off. And our volume buttons. I left that on because obviously I'm interacting with music. It's quite useful to be able to change the volume. Uh, so yeah, there's quite a few options there. Look and feel. Alternative wallpaper, which I think is quite clever. We can go on in. I've actually tried this with it. I hope it works. 
So we can pick a static page to be the wallpaper. I'll come back and I'll leave it as the color. Uh, background tinder, so here I've made it much darker. You can, um, you can have it as bright as, as the normal one, but I prefer kind of a shaded version. Uh, slider and layout, here's one of the sort of the great things. Oh, have I tried no slider? What does no slider do? Okay, so that, yeah, that means it only takes, oh, I don't know, what can I move? Oh, I don't want to delete that, come back, oh dear, okay, so, <laughs> I need to see how I would put that back on. Is it in the widgets? Oh, there we go, oh, lock screen, cut custom, slide, I presume it's going to be that, is it? Let me just check what else we've got on it, if there's anything else different. So let's come back up to the top, let's go with custom slider. Oh, okay, here we go. So this is stuff that I hadn't even I hadn't even seen. So I can come straight to the camera on one side. So in fact, let me see what I'd quite like, because I don't really change the volume um, or the brightness on the one side. So I can have unlock one side. Center action, okay. So I could go straight to a dial. No, I don't think I want anything in direction. Save. Oh, I like that look. So I've got the unlock coming one way, and I've got the camera coming the other way. That is kind of cool. Can I kind of get that any lower, or is that as low as it goes? Nope. Okay, I've got that right on the bottom. Look at that. Wow. I am impressed. I do like do like this uh, this app. Right, where was I? Let's go back. Sorry. Oh, that's so that was me on... Ah, what will I have to next? I was on no slider, so what am I on now? I'm still on no slider. Okay. Uh, but, just so you can see, hopefully it will save that for me. I can have the Sense UI slider. You saw the iPhone one that I had initially. Um, I can have the standard Android one. As you would expect. Or... Let me see, oh, the iPhone one I showed you, Sensor UI, Widget Locker is, it's got the stand, oh, okay, so because I deleted it, it's gone, so it, it's actually the same as the Android standard as the, at the moment, when I had it before, it did have the camera and the, the brightness one at the top there, but maybe because I deleted those off, it's kind of remembered that, which hopefully means, let me go back to, uh, to No Slider, yeah, it's remembered my camera and unlock, oh, I like that, okay, um, Behavior, some of the bits and pieces are just kind of to, for you to decide how it works. You can uh, you can see there. So it's saying here you have to set it as a home application. Part of the part of the explanation in the um, introduction was talking about how it needs to have access, like a home screen would basically, even though it's not actually a home screen. You can still link through that. I mean, I've got quite a quite a complicated. Um, uh, chain now from a home screen. It goes widget locker to power strip to launch a pro. So I've actually it's got three homes. Each one links to the next one. So this one links to power strip and power strip links to launch a pro. So when I press the home key, it does actually go to launch a pro, but it knows that it's uh, it's going through widget locker and and uh, what happens if if I try and bring up power strip? Oh look at that. So even from a lock screen, I now get power strip still. Um, what else we've we got to look at? Screen timeout. Uh, it comes by default as having a custom one of 15 seconds. I don't like that. I'm, I don't know. I'm trying to say battery most of the time, so I leave it on the custom. Uh, I leave it on the standard one, sorry, which is I don't know maybe about five seconds. And then we've got some advanced stuff. Easy wake mode, so I can press hardware buttons. Yeah, I like to be able to do that. Hard mode, and also that helps if I've got the smaller timeout because if I do accidentally catch buttons, it times out and, and the screen goes off again quite quickly. Hold notification icon, yeah. So uh, by default, that's on, and all the time in the corner there is a little sort of door for the uh, to show that it's running. But I don't, I don't particularly like that. You can get to it by dropping and, and pressing, but I prefer myself just to have. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I like maybe I should maybe I should deactivate the hardware as unlocking. Anyway, that's for me to fiddle with to uh, decide what I like. But that's it. So this is uh, Widget Locker lock screen. It's one ninety nine in the marketplace, but you know I just think it's a fantastic little app. I think it's well worth the money. Very impressed. Um, for more news and Android app reviews, hemadroids.net.